Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing how you can inactivate items on a quote or order. Uh, this feature is handy for when you are in the bidding process and maybe you want to include some items while you're working on the quote, but you don't want them visible to the customer. When you mark them as inactive, they will not be included in the emails or PDFs that are generated to send to your customer. Um, what you can do then is at a later date, if you want to add them back, you can go back into the portal here and activate them so that they are then included in the quote. Uh, so right now I am on my items tab on my quote. And if I click on my columns icon here, I'm going to select active to add that to my view. If I scroll over, you can see everything right now is active on the quote. Uh, so if I were to email the quote or generate my PDF, all five of these items are visible here. If I want to update some so they are not included, all I have to do is click here and I can select no. Uh, you can also use your formula bar here to quickly make updates as well. And if I go ahead and generate that email again, you can see that those two items are now no longer included in the email here. Uh, if I want to go back at a later date and easily find my items to activate them, this column is fully filterable and searchable. So I can just click in here and maybe enter no to filter down on those two items. And then all I have to do is highlight them, type in yes in my formula bar, and it is going to update those items to make them active again. Uh, so that's just a quick run through of the feature. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us at support. And thank you so much for watching this video.